Hey, babes, it's Jenny Procopi back with another AWAP Wednesday. Today, I am definitely bringing the realness. Once again, no makeup. <laughs> Sitting outside on the patio here in Chicago. It's a beautiful day, and I want to enjoy some uh, nice warm breeze before we head into the cold month. I wanted to address what I think is on a lot of people's minds today, the Affordable Care Act. Today is October 1st, 2013, and today is the first day that we can start enrollment in the Affordable Care Act to get health insurance. A lot of people, millions of people in this country have not had health insurance, and they're now going to be eligible. But the Affordable Care Act has created a lot of feelings and misconceptions and lies and confusion and, you know, a bunch of stuff. So I'm getting a lot of questions about it. I have a lot of questions about it. I want to start off by telling you that I am in your shoes because I also have to use the system. I am not married. I do not have a spouse who can provide me with insurance. And I do not work for a company full-time that provides insurance. I'm self-employed and I have a ton of chronic illnesses. So this should be exciting. <laughs> like exciting is not really the word I want to use right now, but let's go with exciting. Okay, let's talk about number one reason you should not freak out about the Affordable Care Act today. One is that October 1st is just the first day that you can start enrolling. If you need insurance that starts January 1st of next year, you have until December 15th to enroll. And every expert I've talked to, I'm talking about insurance brokers, healthcare providers, people who work at hospital systems, they all say that we should hang back a little bit least a week or something like let people work out some of the kinks I can't even get on healthcare.gov today which is the site where we're supposed to go to get the information so chill out don't worry about it today it's not going to get fixed today you will have time to figure it out Okay, the second reason you should not panic about the Affordable Care Act today is that you probably aren't even ready to apply. There's a lot of information you need to gather to be ready to apply for the Affordable Care Act uh, insurance. You need to get your medical records in order. You need to have a household budget and know what you can afford to spend. And a lot of us um, are not great about making household budgets. I've been doing mine this year for the first time consistently for a year in my life, and it's been incredible. Um, so I know what I can afford and what I can't afford. If you haven't done that, I highly recommend that you start working on your budget. Um, at the very least, if you're too intimidated or not intimidated, but if it's too overwhelming to try to figure out a whole household budget, at least look at what you have been spending on health care so you can try to budget how much you think you'll need or be able to spend on health care month to month next year. Now, I know there's a lot of questions and concerns and there, I know not everybody's going to know exactly what they can afford. I understand that. Do your best. At least be prepped with some kind of number. Is it $1,000 a month? Is it $500 a month? Is it $2,000 a month? Figure out what you can afford to spend. Is it $0 a month? I don't know. It's, it's going to be different for everybody. But do your best to figure out what's going to work for you. Okay. Reason number three why you should not be panicking about the Affordable Care Act today, most states do not have their act together. I mean, I live in Chicago, Illinois. Our, <laughs> our motto is the city that works. Um, it has not worked very hard to inform us because I only learned a couple days ago that Illinois even was going to have a website to help me through this process. I've been asking every expert I know and everyone has said to me, go to healthcare.gov. That's going to be your site. As it turns out, supposed to go to getcoveredillinois.com or .gov. I'm not even sure because I can't get to the site anyway because it's overloaded with traffic. So your state may or may not be ready to even handle your request because I think a lot of them were developing systems. They weren't sure if they'd be ready to activate them today. Um, 
And so they they didn't they didn't announce them, I guess, until right up until the very last minute, which is kind of disconcerting. So don't get your undies in the bundle yet. Okay, reason number four and the final reason why I really don't want you to freak out about the Affordable Care Act today is that if you freak out, I'm going to freak out. (laughs) I feel anxious about this. It's just my personality. I feel nervous. Um, I'm going to do the best I can to not feel nervous. And the way I'm going to do that is by gathering tons of information, tons of resources, interview as many experts as I can. I'm going to share all that with you. It won't just be specific to my state of Illinois. I will talk to people all over the country. So I'm going to ease my fear by trying to get as much information as I can. I'm going to share as much of that as I can with you. So don't freak out. You'll be doing yourself and me a big favor by not sending me a million messages that you're freaking out. And I will really appreciate it. And you will really appreciate it too because you won't be freaking out. So I think we're going to be okay. I think that we need to trust that we're going to be okay. (laughs) So thanks for joining me in another AWAP Wednesday. Obviously I recorded this on Tuesday because that's October 1st when Affordable Care Act goes into effect or at least this part of it. Um, But you'll be seeing this on Wednesday or later. So thank you. I've had lots of questions about this issue, and I'm really happy to answer it to the best of my ability, at least for today. Um, I have lots more questions to answer because you guys have been so fantastic about sending me questions, which is great. If you have a question you want me to answer in a future edition, please put it in the comments below. There's lots of room for them. And it would be really great if you shared this on all your social networks because we're trying to reach as big as audience as we can to help people, to really help people feel connected. And ever since I launched the site a few weeks ago, we've really had awesome success with that. So I want to keep that going. So use the little social share buttons below to share it with all your friends on Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn, Pinterest, and you know the deal. So um, also, if you like it, please like it on Facebook if you're seeing it there. You know the deal. Help me spread the word. Thanks. Appreciate it. All right. This has been a great AWAP Wednesday. I hope that you are AWAP. I hope you're not freaking out. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Beep. You're going to go through health care. Health.